hello and good morning today is day 13 i think and i'm back on track alvin went back to work today because he said he's feeling a little bit better and i feel like i have some renewed energy i think that walk on friday kind of really took it out of me um walking that much which is kind of understandable because on days that i would work my shifts they would be eight to ten hours long i always had to like recover the next day because i was standing for 10 hours straight so i think that's just how it is with being pregnant but sometimes i forget just like how much downtime i need also after like extending a lot of energy yesterday i pretty much worked on tbr cards the whole day and i do need to work on them a lot today as well because i am trying to keep up with all the orders that i have but i have been listening to audiobooks while i've been doing that so i actually finished weight of blood i guess let's go sit down because i have some packages and stuff to show you guys number one i ordered four dresses for my baby shower which is january 7th and two of them came in i ordered all green ones so two of them came in so we should probably try these on later today i'm also washing the sheets and towels and i'm probably gonna do a little bit of cleaning later as well and i made my coffee right now i have been just making like a single shot of espresso with steamed milk it has just been so delicious altijo is I think my number one favorite still. And then this one that I made today, the other Dopio one, it's called, oh, sorry. It's called Bianco Piccolo. Uh, there we go, can you see it? This is one of their um, like newer type of flavors, but I like the Altijo, which is the purple. This is the decaf one, um, but the decaf is super good um, as well as the regular one. But like a shot of espresso, with steamed whole milk, just so good. So that's what I've been drinking the last few days. I should have showed you guys um, my outfit of the day yesterday because I had like a new set that I got from Amazon. Um, this, I actually, this was my gender reveal outfit. It is maternity, um, but I've been like so hot recently. So I got this new cardigan from Amazon and I got it in black so it can match anything. But like this is just like a one piece Thing, but it's super comfortable. So I feel like I'm in my pajamas, but I'm also like nice enough that I could go out. And yeah, yesterday I was wearing um, a new like kind of matching like leisure set that I got from Amazon that I really liked also. It was like sports bra top and then like shorts, but it was maternity. I really liked that. So let me show you. I got a few packages yesterday and I never did kind of open them on here. So my first package, um, one of my friends sent me a whole bunch of books for my little free library. So let's see what we have in here. Oops, my battery is dying. Let me go change that and then we'll look at the books that she sent me. So for my little free library, she sent The Golden Couple by Greer Hendricks. And these are all like such really nice books too. Um, the Hotel Nantucket. This is gonna be great for like, if I do like a summer theme in my little free library. The Last Mrs. Parish, which I think I also have a copy of that for that because I love that book. Um, Baby It's Christmas. Oh, I'll put this in. I never did put more books in yesterday. So I'll put that in as well. Um, Love and Other Disasters. These are gonna be perfect for um, February. The Dating Plan. The Family. Oh wow, what is this one about? Two Daughters, Two Families. This must be maybe historical fiction. That is such a beautiful cover. One Italian Summer. Oh, we have another Christmas book. We have The Holiday Swap. So I'm also gonna put this in the Little Free Library this month. And Recursion by Blake Crouch. So those are all amazing. Thank you so much, Sylvia. It is so nice of you to save these and donate them to my Little Free Library. And I know my neighbors like super appreciate it too. I love actually watching. I don't think I've been able to get it on camera. Um, but I love like seeing like people stop by my little free library. Oh my gosh. And she sent me some baby stuff in here. Oh, I think it's a little swimsuit. So it has little bottoms and then this little top and it's like, I think it's swimsuit material. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is a, um, what do you call that? An ornament. And you can put the ultrasound picture, which is perfect. Cause I have some. Oh, I love that. Thank you so much. That is so sweet of you. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. This is a little uh, unicorn like diaper um, cover up and a little hat. Another 
little picture frame for any type of pictures. I love that. Thank you so much, Sylvia. These gifts are so sweet and the books are great for my little free library. So that is super amazing. Okay, so I got some other gifts. Well, this I bought. This is a stamp I got from Etsy um, because I'm doing a like cafe slash bakery theme for my baby shower. I got this baby is brewing stamp because I'm gonna get um, some brown like coffee cup sleeves and we're gonna stamp the baby is brewing all over it. I think we're also gonna stamp it on the, um, the favors which is gonna be like chocolate covered espresso beans. So that's super helpful. And then I got a gift from one of my friends, Taylor. She bought these off my registry. She got us this um, Nourished Beginnings baby food book. So it's like nutrient dense, kind of like Weston A. Price-ish, like farm to table. Wow, these are absolutely beautiful. I cannot wait. I haven't even like looked through this yet. Ooh, I cannot wait, um, but I'm gonna wait. Can't look through it right now. Um, and then she got us the wooden uh, hairbrush set. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Oh wow, it is super soft. I was afraid like with the bristle brushes and stuff that they would be hard, but this is gonna be so soft for a baby's head. And then when she does get older um, and has tangles, like I have this nice one and then this little comb. These are adorable. I love these. I cannot wait to put those in her little dresser. And then, in this box, I'm not gonna pull it out, but this is the shelf that I got for the nursery. So that way um, I can hang her little bows. It has like little clips. I'll try and pop a picture right here of like what it's gonna look like. Um, so we're not gonna hang this yet. I'm just gonna put it up in the nursery, um, but that will be hung after we kind of set up the nursery and we know exactly where the furniture is going because I'm not sure. I might see if I can fit the crib and the dresser on the same wall, but we'll have to see, I'm not sure. And then um, Baby List is where I have my registry at and they send you like a free box of random like testers and samples and stuff like that. So the box came yesterday and I looked through it. So they give you like little discount cards for certain things, but they also give you like I got Huggies wipes, <laughs> Huggies wipes. They gave um, samples of like the stretch mark cream, which my midwife gave me this one and I actually do really like that one. And then there's an oil with it. There is a little pacifier. Um, there is breast milk storage bags and disposable nursing pads, which this is the brand I was gonna get. So that's nice that I could try it out. Um, Huggies special delivery diapers. They have an actual whole bottle in here so full bottle another pacifier and then this is from Burt's Bees they have a little elephant hat and little mittens which is so cute um, some more like offers and stuff and this looks like a, a sample from water wipes and then they have a onesie which is three to six months they have desitin cream Oh, they, Frida Mom gave a breast mask for lactation. The rest are just coupon cards. So it's kind of nice because I don't think every single box is the same because when I was looking at it on their site, I think they said they just like throw in a collection of different things every time. So like what I got doesn't mean like you're necessarily gonna get that if you do get this one. But it is super nice because some of this stuff I did really wanna try out. This is nice, like this looks like it'll last for a while. I don't know, it looks like kind of a big thing. So I'm probably gonna unpackage this stuff and put the things that need to go in uh, my like breastfeeding cart and stuff. And then the rest of the stuff I can put upstairs. Like I can wash the onesie and stuff. Okay, so I am upstairs. I'm gonna start getting some card orders done so that way they can go out today. But yesterday I had finished um, The Weight of Blood by Tiffany D. Jackson. And I think I am still just gonna rate it three stars. It definitely was not my favorite Tiffany D. Jackson. My favorite is allegedly. I love that book. Monday's Not Coming is a close second. And then I also enjoyed Grown. So those are my like three top favorites, but I didn't really like White Smoke and I didn't really like Weight of Blood. I think it's because these like White Smoke and Weight of Blood were more in the like horror genre. So they're not 
as realistic like they have some other like elements going on in them and this one was a retelling of Carrie which I'm not familiar with but oh what's the word is it like telekinesis or something like that where you can like move things with your mind and so that's really hard for me to take real world problems like racism and everything that's happening in this book but then also have this like you know magical realism part of it i really really liked the important topics of it seeing the microaggressions seeing how people just turn a cold shoulder um all that kind of stuff was very eye-opening and i really like reading about that plus it's always weird for me reading a book about like school with like young kids because i didn't go to school and so i'm always asking alvin i'm like are, are like are people actually bullied this bad like is this actually how it is but i just like can't believe how much a child can be bullied and like teachers are okay with it people are okay with it like it's just it's crazy to me but it was definitely like entertaining enough to give like a quick synopsis um it's about this girl maddie who i think her dad was white and her mom was black but she is kind of white passing she's very light skinned um i think she like keeps her hair in a certain way and so everyone thought she was white but she still was bullied like while wow, people thought she was white but then people find out that she's black and so then they're even bullying her even more and they're throwing like pencils in her hair and someone even shows up with blackface. It just like gets all out of hand. So it is a pretty like sad story to read because of all of that um, because most of the book is kind of like bullying and kids being very bratty. <laughs> Maybe that's why I didn't like it because I don't like bratty kids. That's probably why. But I started last night, I started listening to Cults, which is a book I've had on my TBR. Uh, it says, Inside the World's Most Notorious Groups and Understanding the People Who Joined Them. I'm 7% in and it is more of kind of like a history-ish book. Oh, let me just say, for The Weight of Blood, I listened to the audiobook and the audiobook is five stars, okay? The audiobook was absolutely fantastic. It has a podcast element. It had like different like sound effects in it and stuff. So I highly suggest listening to the audiobook for The Weight of Blood. One of the best audiobooks I've ever listened to. I should just put that out there. I forgot to mention that. But in this cult audiobook, it is kind of more of like a history telling. So right now I'm on Charles Manson and kind of, you know, where he came from and what made him become the cult leader that he is or like what made him, what makes cult leaders become cult leaders, you know what I mean? So I'm learning a lot about his history and how messed up like his childhood was, but it was so weird because when I was listening last night, it said that um, he went to this like juvenile jail in Natural Bridge, Virginia in Rockbridge County, which is literally where I live. So I was like, what? Like, that's so crazy. Like, that's like 30 minutes away from me. I was like, that's so close. Who knew that Charles Manson was so close to where I'm at, you know? So I'm gonna be listening to that today while I keep cutting out cards. Um, I already laminated these, so like there's a there's a few steps process, which is why it takes a few hours. I print them both sides, I have to laminate them, I cut them, I round corner them, and then I laminate them again just to make sure that the lamination is on there really well. And then I package them up. I have all my like stuff out here. I have like the labels I put on the tins and I have the little uh, directions card and I have the little Etsy thank you and all that kind of stuff. So it's not hard, it just takes time, but it is nice because I can listen to audiobooks while I do it. Okay, it is two o'clock afternoon. I just brought in some packages from the mail. I swear, I don't always get this many packages. It's just because it's like Christmas time, I guess, and the baby shower and all that. But I just ate some lunch it was very random i had cottage cheese with some canned pears and a can of smoked herring a lot of times if like alvin's not home i eat either leftovers or random stuff like that i am totally someone that would eat like just a whole avocado and like olives or something as like a meal let's see what we have here um to open up a few of these packages and then we can actually get the day started with cleaning i need to go pick up our local milk and take some amazon orders back i want to make the fish curry stew for tonight and 
I do also need to meal plan and either pick up groceries tomorrow or Thursday. So if I don't have time today, I still have one or two dinners that I could do. So worst case scenario, Friday is like, has to be our grocery day. Oh, this is from my friend Brandy. This wouldn't send with your book, but I had to get this also as soon as I saw it. You're one of my very best friends. I love you so much. So thankful to have you in my life from Brandy. Okay, I think it's a little keychain it says. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It says, true friends are like bright sunflowers that never fade away, even over distance and time. I absolutely love that. Thank you so much, Brandy. I'm totally putting this on my keys. I love that. Oh, from Laura, it is a, oh, diaper bag organizing pouches. Nice. I got these because I'm using that like laptop bag that I already had from Target as my diaper bag. And so I had these pouches on my registry so that way I could easily organize everything in that bag. Oh my gosh, I love these. Okay, so we have goodies. We have wet things. We have mama's things and we have hello sweet cheeks so i will be able to use these so like for instance if i have like chapstick and sunglasses or you know anything that's for me i can put that in here i love these so much thank you laura those are so 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 nice and cannot wait to organize my diaper bag with them oh we also need to organize my bookshelf today and sell some this is from Brandy. Merry Christmas to one of my best friends. This book sounded so good and that cover, it's stunning. Hopefully it's as good as On the Island was. Love you so much, friend. Let's see. Oh my gosh, yes. This is an absolutely beautiful book. Like this cover, it's I heard it in a love song by Tracy Garvis Graves who wrote the On the Island, which I love. And what I really like about this is the characters are older and it's about like a marriage and a divorce. So it says, Layla is 35 and recently divorced, struggling to break free of the past, her glory days as the lead singer in a band and a 10 year marriage to a man who never put her first. Layla's newfound independence feels a lot like loneliness. Then there's Josh, the single dad whose daughter attends the elementary school where Layla teaches music. He also is recently separated from his divorce. Okay, this is, ugh, I'm so excited. Wow, thank you so, so much. Not only is this one of the most beautiful books ever, but it also sounds just absolutely amazing. Wow, okay, so this was ordered um, by Murphy from Novel Wix. They make candles and they had sent me a few candles. I think it was like a year or two ago and they wanted to gift me with a baby shower gift. So this, oh my gosh, this color is beautiful. This is a swaddle blanket from Lulu and Company. Oh my gosh, how gorgeous is this? It is the most beautiful color in the world oh my gosh and it's so so soft oh okay you can it even tells you like how to do the swaddle you can lay it out like the traditional way or you can do it the knotted way this is literally like the softest swaddle i have ever oh my gosh look at that color <laughs> i love this this is so amazing thank you so much murphy i absolutely love this i might actually use it as the knotted and take it as the um as like first photo kind of thing wow that is super super nice okay last but not least i got my books from aardvark um so if you didn't know they had sent me a box last month but i decided to sign up so i do pay for this with my own money and i picked two of the books from their December books. So this is very similar to Book of the Month. Aesthetica, which I do know how to say now. <laughs> this is actually um, a smaller book than I thought, but I love it. It is very beautiful. I love that Aardvark doesn't put their little logo on the side. And then this one I'm even more excited for. This is twice in a lifetime and it's for fans of una out of order it just sounds absolutely amazing um so i am super excited about both of these books oh my gosh i cannot wait
So we're gonna work on this mess-ish. It's kind of a mess. Um, Cause I have like books that I have checked out from the library, but I have nowhere to put it because the shelf is too full. So the books that are on my TBR that I haven't read yet is this shelf and this shelf. So those I am keeping, like I'm always gonna be having like a physical TBR, but the books that are on the top shelf and the bottom three shelves are books that I have already read and were like four to five star reads. So my goal is to sell or put in my little free library or take to the book exchange. Like my sister lives in Virginia Beach and so she takes books to the book exchange for me and you get like a credit so you can like get more books. So those are my goals for all of the books that I've already read. And then I'm actually gonna be moving my TBR. Um, it'll probably be like these three shelves, but I don't want it to be like as like full. So I'll probably make it like kind of nice on those three shelves. Whatever library books I have, I wanna be able to put the library books on here. And then the bottom three shelves are going to be empty for Alice's like toys, I can put some of the like nicer toys out so she could grab them. And maybe on the bottom, I'll have like some wicker baskets or like a basket or two of, you know, just other toys or like whatever it would be, like maybe a blanket she likes or something like that. I guess I should pull all the books off and reorganize what I have and then I will list them on Pango. <laughs> finally listed all the books. This is looking really great. These are a bunch of pregnancy and maternity books that I borrowed from my sister and sister-in-law. So not all of those are mine. And then I also have um, my own like cookbooks and stuff. And so I'll have to see, I might be paring down some of this. Well, especially once I give the pregnancy books back. I just put those like in color order there. And then I have my actual TBR, which looks great. And then I just threw my library books down there until I would need to figure out a system for that. So I, sorry, I had to run my tripod. Um, I went and picked up the milk it is 5.30 and I'm going to start making that fish stew. And while it's cooking, I'm going to vacuum and clean the floors and like wipe down the counters and stuff. I did make the bed cause I had washed like our sheets and stuff. Um, so I'll probably like quick clean the bathroom as well. That way the house is all clean and I'm printing off some more TBR cards so I can get ready for tomorrow. But I am just so glad that I organized my shelf. It just looks so much better. I just, I absolutely love it. I, uh, I'm, I'm just such a minimalist. Like I love having less stuff, but the stuff that I actually, you know, that makes me happy. It's just so nice to have like not a whole bunch of clutter. All right, so we're gonna be making this extra saucy coconut fish curry. Um, it's not too hard. It looks like it cooks for about like 40 minutes or so. And so we're pretty much just kind of adding everything to a pot, cooking the fish in it. And then I'm also gonna be making jasmine rice in my Instapot because I love Instapot rice. 
it is like mess free, super easy. You just set it and forget it. So I'm going to start making this stuff and then I'm gonna go straight into cleaning. So I'm probably going to listen to music and I'm going to mute all of this and just put, you know, Christmas music above it. I've been longing for this Christmas when everyone's around to share this holiday. Yes, it's a time of happiness, a time of joy, but now this year is twice as special because I'm hoping for us to fall in love in this winter wonderland. Chilling by the fire as I'm trying to get your attention. Giving you a sign, I can seem to look away. because I don't think I did. Well, I definitely didn't today. And I don't think I did yesterday. Maybe I did yesterday. No, I didn't, the 12th, okay. <laughs> so we've got a double espresso Skiro. I do like this one. That one's really good. Might have that tomorrow morning maybe. Ethiopia, which is, um, I think a Gran Lugo. Yeah, it is. So, or Gran Lugo, I don't know how to say that. So it's like that Americano. Um, but I think we've had that one before and it's been pretty good. I wonder if I should just go ahead and open up tomorrow's today. Let's go ahead. That way I can always drink it in the morning. It's really good. So 14, oh, this is Alvin's favorite coffee pod, Sololio. It's a very light roast. It's like intensity of two or something like that. I really need to make some sourdough English muffins or also make more bread because we used all of the bread. Let's see, 12 is, ooh, oh wow, that sounds good. Cherry elderflower. I love cherries, like fresh cherries, so good. Another yuzu, pineapple yuzu spread. Also very interesting. Okay, let's go ahead and do tomorrow's. Grapefruit dragon fruit. I love how exotic these are. Like I like that they're just not strawberry or blueberry. All right, let's do. Graham's advent while I'm thinking about it. Here he comes. <laughs> All right, Graham, let's see. I don't think we did it yesterday, so you get two today. Watch out. Okay, yesterday, 
Oh, yesterday was a toy. That works out really well. Well, we've got... Oh, that's really cute. Does it squeak? <laughs> All right, and then 13. 13, right here. That's what you want. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Look at those eyeballs. Okay, you gotta sit. <laughs> Good boy, okay. Gosh, you act like I don't ever feed you or anything. <laughs> we'll give you two, just, just for the people that say we're mean parents. <laughs> picks and chooses what toys he likes because I don't think he played with the reindeer one. Nope. <laughs> I think it's 12 and 13. <laughs> he said, oh, is that for me? Ooh, that's really funny. I was actually, I have some of my Amazon card I was about to get. <laughs> yeah, I can get them from Walmart now. Oh, that's nice. So I've got some um, some squatchy. Yep. I've got a wood barrel bourbon. Yep. Okay. Oops. Don't use that. <laughs> oh yeah, it might be hard to see what they are. Soap product exfoliating body scrubber for bath and or shower. Yeah. So you well, like you can put the soap on one of those things, but they're like little pockets for the soap. So that way it doesn't, um, the water doesn't like hit it and go away. And then you use it awesome. to like exfoliate. Yeah, so it's like a little pocket for your soap. And then when the soap gets little, you're not like trying to yeah. still use it. Nice. Yeah, those are just like set like raw soap on. I just came with that, but I got it for the pockets. I'm getting ready for bed, but I wanted to try the legging heatless curls that I keep seeing on TikTok. And I forgot to like the other day when I was going to do it. So today or right now is a perfect time. Straight all the way. All right, then we're gonna put our leggings inside out <laughs> in the middle of our head. And we're gonna tie off the suspense is gonna kill you guys because you won't actually be able to see if this worked or not until the next vlog. So I've seen some people just do where they take a piece and they wrap it and then they just like keep adding more hair. But then I've also seen people do kind of like a French braid. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm doing one from the front, which goes around <laughs> and under, like that. From the back, where we take back hair, and it goes around and under. So that's the one side, and then you're supposed to take the bottom of your leggings and put it up like that. All right, so we put this up like this, and then they say to take the top here, 
to put it down and to put these. Beautiful. <laughs> All right, let's hope that they uh, look great in the morning. Come on in, come on up, come on over For the merriest time of year Come on up, come on in, get together